Hey everyone, it's Joe with Caesar North America and welcome to another episode of the Decoration Zone. Today I want to talk about the importance of pressure when applying Caesar HTV. Please hang out. Pressure, one of the most vital parts of applying Caesar HDV, and that's whether you're using a heat press or even a home iron. This is a very important step, and with us at Caesar, we make it very easy for you to find out what we recommend. So even if you went to our website, CaesarNA.com, and you looked up, let's say, Easy Weed, what we recommend for our pressure on your heat press or home iron setting, you scroll down. On that page, right there, you'll see in the application instructions where your press or where you should be pressing with your home iron for any of our HTVs. We also have that very helpful tool we've had out for a long time, the Caesar North America app that you can download for your phone or tablet. And right there at your fingertips, you can find out all our application instructions, including the pressure for each material type. So be sure to check that out. Hmm, well this just isn't necessarily true. Um, firstly, this is all gonna determine on whether you're using a particular style of fabric that might have a pattern to it, and it's also gonna depend on what Caesar HDV you're using. Obviously, the thinner you go, the easier it's gonna be to achieve the pattern of that fabric. So let's say you use anything in the Easyweed family. Easyweed, Easyweed Stretch, Easyweed Electric, anything with easy weed in front of it. That's gonna be the thinnest option we have. Now that is gonna make it easier for you to attain the fabric of whatever garment you're going on. But each textile might have a different surface. But if you're using a product that's a little bit thicker or more rigid, so let's say glitter or brick or strip flock or holographic, this is gonna show more of where it might look like it's floating on top of the garment doesn't mean that it's not applied, it just doesn't give you that pattern that you might be looking for. Now, sometimes having that texture showing through your, your vinyl, it might not be a positive thing. Sometimes people wanna press so hard that they think that the harder they press on the HTV, the better bonded it's gonna be. It's just not true. Because actually what you might be doing is weakening the adhesive. So if you've ever had a situation where you might see some of that clear film that might be around your transfer, that might be peering outside of it, that is sometimes your adhesive, or most of the time that's your adhesive peering out of your transfer. That's because the pressure is pushing the adhesive outside away from your transfer. And really all that's doing is weakening the bond between the HTV and your textile. So the more you wash it, it might tend to fall off. So that might be too much pressure. So that might be something you wanna dial back. Now let's head to the heat press and I'll show you what to look for when setting up for pressure. Now for adjusting the pressure on your heat press. All heat presses might have a little bit of an adjustment or the placement of the adjustment knob. In this case, it is right here above our upper platen. Um, to adjust the pressure, you wanna turn it clockwise or to decrease the pressure, you do counterclockwise. Um, some, some heat presses also have a indication or an indicator right on the display of how much pressure you might have. Uh, in this case, we don't. So this is gonna be all kind of adjusted by the user. So in this case, where I'm at right now, this right here, I would consider a light pressure. It doesn't take a lot to apply. 
I haven't done a bunch of push-ups yet. Now, if I want to adjust it to maybe a medium pressure, I'll turn it maybe two or three turns. Now, I notice that there's a little bit more resistance. So this is something I would consider a medium pressure. Now, a firm pressure where you generally don't need to be overkill is going to be somewhere along the line where you kind of do have to push down a little bit more. Now, I've seen cases where people have cranked this all the way where here come the push-ups. <laughs> It, it didn't work, it didn't work. So you wanna be careful when you're, <laughs> when you're adjusting your pressure. You don't wanna go overboard because then all you're gonna do is harm your garment, harm the textile, harm your transfer, and probably break your press. So you can dial that down a little bit. Now, for the best results, you want to adjust your pressure when your textile is actually on the press. So in this case, if I was working with a bunch of t-shirts, thin material i'm going to apply it lay it right on my lower platen and then from there adjust my pressure now i can bring this dial this back quite a bit now right here i'm about a medium pressure so if you were applying say easy weed at a medium pressure on a ton of t-shirts but then you had a hoodie in the mix you're going to need to adjust the pressure once you segue over to the hoodie now, again, like I said, you want to adjust the pressure before you put this on the, or before you put your transfer on your garment. Okay. So if I was pressing in this area, I can tell right away that the difference between this hoodie and the t-shirt has changed quite a bit. So I'd have to dial this down counterclockwise and bring my pressure down. Now I'm back to where I wanna be. Another situation would be if you were using, let's say a baby onesie. Now onesie has a few things that are gonna give you uneven pressure. You have the seams here, you have the buttons down here. Now there are tools out there like these heat press pillows that are gonna help you achieve even pressure. Now, same as what we said before, like the, the hoodie, you wanna apply the, the pillow into the garment first before you adjust your pressure. So now I have it in there. I'm pretty close to where I wanna be if I'm trying to achieve a medium pressure. So this is where I would wanna stay. That includes the heat press pillow. All right, now this is a perfect example of where the fabric is gonna let you achieve that pattern effect with your thinner HDV like EasyWeed. Now this is a thermal. It's got that waffle pattern in it, uh, whether you're using like a denim or um, a ribbed uh, tank top, those are gonna be the indications of where that pattern might show up when you're applying no matter how much pressure you have on it. This is where the, the HDV is thin enough to form to the grooves of this textile. Now, if you're using glitter or something thicker, like I said, it's not gonna give you that pattern effect, but it does not indicate that it's not applied. Uh, it, it's all gonna be about how much pressure you have on your press or your, when you're using your home iron. All right, now I wanna move everything I told you about the heat press to the home iron. Now, if you don't have a heat press, that's all right. You can still apply our, our Caesar HDV with a home iron. Now, the what problem that I see a lot is the pressure kind of gets removed when I see applications with the home iron. Now, I see people apply their transfer just like they're ironing out a shirt and just simply running it across. And it might bond, it might work, but it's not actually getting the adhesive strong enough to this garment. So you still need to make sure that you are applying some, some pressure down when you're using the home iron. Whether that's using both your arms, whether that's kind of using your body weight. Sometimes we see this. Now this is just overkill. 
It really is. Now, this will work. Like I said, you just want to make sure you have that pressure when you are applying with your home iron. You also want to make sure that you're having sufficient heat come out of this platen as well when you are applying the Caesar HDB. So this is a quick overview of the importance of pressure when you are using Caesar HDV. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'll see you next time.